want to take me with you, darling, I don't want to stay. This place just keeps on getting sad. I'm Janine Schultz with FM News, and we're sitting here with Will Hogue. You have a new album out. It's called Seven. It is. Do you want to talk a little bit about the meaning behind the name of that? I know it's your seventh studio album, mm-hmm. but anything else besides yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, it's just a, it's always been a lucky number um, for me, and we hope that that continues with this record. Also, you know, this is your second album since you were in a terrible scooter accident mm-hmm. a couple of years ago, and I guess you can talk a little bit about um, kind of how your outlook has changed since that accident personally and also in your music and, and how we can hear that on the album. Yeah, I mean, personally, it just, I mean, it changes a lot of things. I mean, you have to, all of a sudden, I mean, I've always been, I've always felt fortunate to be able to do this for a living. I've always felt loved by my family and my my kids and my wife were always super special. But after something like that, those things just kind of get amplified even further. I mean, you know, getting to um, hold my son again for the first time, you know, six weeks after the accident was a real monumental thing for me um still being able to you know be with my wife obviously is great then we've had another son since then who obviously wouldn't have even been here had things gone differently during the accident so that's you know um something that we're always feel incredibly fortunate about musically it um it's just developed a bit more of a patience i think for the songwriting process and the album making process and um i think the records have been better because of it uh, and I hope that that continues forward in the future. And I guess, you know, throughout the seven albums, there there's a lot of songs of just terrible, terrible heartbreak. Mm-hmm. And I do so, and I and I love them and they make you they just really make you connect emotionally to them, but sometimes I do wonder because I read a lot of articles and and you talk about your wife and your kids. Mm-hmm. And I do sometimes wonder does she sit home and go you know, I'm doing pretty well. I don't know why he keeps writing all these sad songs. Yeah, she hates it. Uh, <laughs> and she'll ask me occasionally, like, when are you going to write a, a song with a, a positive thing about love in it? And I thought I had finally done it with this single from this record called When I Get My Wings, because it's about how much a, a man loves his woman. And But I forget that she dies at the end, so that doesn't exactly uh, yeah. change that a whole lot, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you don't sit down and say, I'm going to write a sad song, much as like you wouldn't sit down and say, well... This is going to be a happy song, so I yeah. mean, when you start when you start writing, I guess what? I mean, how does that work? How does that how does that come out? I don't. There's not a lot of process. You know, it's not something that. It's not usually that thought out for me. It's not. I'll sit down and write X type of song. I just feel like, whenever that moment kind of hits, you just sit down and start writing as fast as you can. And I don't ask too many questions about why they're about what they are. Or that's what a therapist figures out. And, uh, we use rock and roll as therapy, I guess. So. And speaking of sad songs, um, a song on the new album that's really amazing is called Trying to Be a Man. Mm-hmm. And Thank you. And again, it's not a really happy tune, but can you talk a little bit about where that song came from and what that's about? Because I know it's not completely autobiographical, mm-hmm. but partially. And yeah, my, uh, my wife and I, when we found out we were pregnant with our, our first child, she was just my girlfriend. Uh, she was a college student. I was a musician on the road. So there were a lot of issues with that, you know, people's perceptions of what that meant, and families being concerned about what we were going to do with our lives and all that. And so the the first bit of the song was sort of born out of that thing where we had to sort of stick together as a parental unit, which we wanted to do, and then we were going to be married down the line and all that. We always knew that, but um, so it was sort of born out of that frustration, and also then me realizing that I had to. All of a sudden, we're going to be a lot more responsibilities than just me getting to knock around the country in a rock and roll band all the time. And um, you know, being a father was something I wanted to take really seriously, and I want to be great at. And so the song sort of came from there, uh, the first few verses, and then the last verse, um, the the character, the the wife dies in, in childbirth, which is kind of your biggest fear whenever you go through that with both the the kids. That was. You know, it's something that's always in the back of your mind is what if something goes wrong? And so I kind of wanted to bring that into the the story. And, and I have a friend who lost his wife during the birth of their first child years ago, and it was just something that always stuck with me, just how horrible that would be to have to try and uh, 
and deal with that. So that kind of just melded those two things for the song. And I know I've asked you before, you know, with this song, people that don't know you or haven't read up on mm-hmm. you, do they come to you after the show and say, you know, I'm so sorry about <laughs> your loss? No, <laughs> no. Have you experienced that at all? No, uh, not, not that we have had a lot of people that comment that the song is incredibly emotional for them or it's super sad or it's incredibly dark. But it's kind of always met with, um, it's met more complimentary, I think, than it is anybody being super upset about the song afterwards. But we've had grown men say that they've cried and things like that, tried to play it off as, we had one guy tell us that he had margarita salt in his eye, that he wasn't actually crying. And I told him it was way worse to have margaritas than it was to cry at a song. Grown man shouldn't be drinking a margarita. So, uh, yeah, I think we broke him of that habit. Well, thank you so much for sitting down I with us. Uh, the album is called Seven, and you can get it on iTunes and record stores and all the normal places. We're sitting here with Will Hogue. This has been Janine Schultz with FM News.